Hi everyone, it's August the 7th, I think, or maybe 8th, I don't remember. Um, Prikin is home from her summer pasture, as you can see. Um, she's lame, she's also lost two shoes, so we're waiting for the farrier on Wednesday and the we have an appointment at a vet clinic on Thursday morning. Uh, I think what I'm gonna do because I don't want to have the pressure of posting like I did before but I do want to post something so I'm probably gonna make like a little collection of videos from August maybe August and September and post together so we'll see what happens. She's like is no more food. She got some treats and some vitamins and some salt in water just to get her to like have the salt because she hadn't peed a lot inside oh yeah we're gonna put your fly mask on we've groomed and i managed to remove the stain on the other side almost yeah you such a good girl yeah i don't have any more treats now i don't have any It's uh, Tuesday the 8th, 8th? I can't remember the date. It's August still. Uh, it's Tuesday the 9th <laughs> and I'm looking at the paddock. I have a helper. She's so um, like sick of being alone. So she's like wanting to be on top of me. <laughs> Hey, do you want cuddles? Is that it? Yeah. Hey. Hmm. Yes, it's so lonely. I'm so lonely. It's so boring to be alone. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, we both, me and her owner, are both are very nervous about Thursday and a wet visit at the clinic. So let's hope it goes well. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Seriously. He's like, I want cuddles and scratches and attention, please. You want attention? Yeah. Just a little snack before we go in. She's been escaping from the grass paddocks, so she's not allowed to be there anymore. So, she should get a little bit of grass. It's now 25 minutes till 9 p.m. So I'm gonna take her and the rest of the horses in after she's had a little snack. They usually come in at 9. Hi everyone, it's um, Saturday the 11th. I checked the date and I'm here with Prikin in her pa little little paddock. She's in the little paddock for injured horses. Uh, we went to the vet on Thursday and uh, we found out what's wrong with her. I don't know the technical names for it um, in English. <laughs> yeah, here's your cuddly. Attention sick. I just got here and uh, yeah. So she has a thing in her joint. Um, there's a sort of a band in her joint that it sits around the two tendons and supports them. And that one that has ripped, broken, snapped. And uh, so. Um, there were like two options one was surgery and if she's young she was younger and healthier then that would obviously have been our choice or, well not my choice because i don't have a say but like her owner and her uh, almost owner's choice um but instead since she's 18 and yeah slightly 
<laughs> slightly um, not functional <laughs> anyways like she has joints like the arthritis she has some problems with her hooves she has problems with her back and she almost died and once and stuff like that people yeah she's sort of um, cheated death several times actually so because of her health they decided against uh, surgery and um, so what they've done instead is just to treat the inflammation caused by the like this band the it's still in the joint um, I don't really know how it works but it's still in the joint and so it irritates the joint and so it causes inflammation and so what they've done is just <laughs> treated the inflammation and so she's got a big bandage on because she was there on Friday and got a cortisone injection in her joint let's see if I can show you guys Uh, she also <laughs> have a cut on uh, on her leg and that has stitches so um, she's got like matching bandages all year, all, all around um, yeah so she's got that she's now not supposed to move um, today and Sunday and I think or like Sunday she's gonna start with in hand walking and then she's gonna do that for a week and then next Sunday which is my day she's gonna start being ridden for a short time that's gonna be um, longer as the week goes by and then she's going back in for a check with the wet to see if the cortisone has worked so yeah so um, I'm gonna just give her a little groom and some love and uh, yeah that's it actually for today I've done the mucking out and fixed her evening feed and everything so yeah just a little love time for peek peek and some bug spray apparently is needed. You are silly. Yeah, you're silly. Because you don't want cuddles? But you do want to stand on top of me. <laughs> I gave her a groom, got some fly spray on, and uh, looked at her paddock. Yeah. Itchies. We had a lot of a scratching session as well. <laughs> He's like, no. <laughs> doesn't like kisses but I want scratches <laughs> yeah is it boring yeah oh lovely <laughs> can I put this on hmm this fly mask and uh, off you go mm. love you Yeah, more. <laughs> ah, there. That's the spot. <laughs> and here, see. I like it here.
It's fly mask time. She said bye bye. Nej, vi, vi jobbar nu. We're working. Hi, it's Thursday the 18th. It's a week since we were at the vets. It's a week tomorrow since she got her cortisone injections. And today we're walking for 15 minutes. Exciting. So I figured I should come on here at the end of this video, in a sense, um, because August definitely didn't turn out the way I had planned or thought. Um, when I started August, I thought this vlog would actually contain me going to try a horses having gotten a um, like play, place at the barn to keep my horse. I um, hadn't really spoken about it because I didn't really know what was happening with picking, but that was what I thought this would contain. And instead, I now have quit riding picking I'm not at that barn anymore and I figured I would give the bare minimum of explanation because um, it's not something you want to talk about too much online and it's easy for people to use what you say against you as I've learned. So basically on that Thursday when you last saw us, I was waiting to hear about getting the place at the barn that was free and it's a joint decision by the other horse owners or place owners and uh, late that evening uh, I got a call saying I didn't get it uh, because they wanted uh, one of the strangers that had applied because they were perfect and I'm not perfect because apparently I'm critical and I don't like the barn and I talk behind people's backs and I just want to say that I am not uh, innocent in this, but I am not someone that goes talking behind people's back with malice. Um, if I talk about someone, it's mostly because I'm concerned or something else happened uh, that that person has been the catalyst for. And I need to explain to the victim of that thing. <laughs> um, those kinds of things. But I'm not going to say that I'm 100% fault free. Because nobody's fault free. And I will also say that it hurt a lot. Because um, I thought they were my friends. And... I thought that if you are someone's friend and someone says something that you don't agree with, you can tell them at that point instead of going together after the fact. Like, because I've been there for two and a half years, so they like collected things and then deciding that they don't want that person. And they were like, you could still be here at the barn as like a learner but I just don't feel comfortable because I feel like whatever I say 
whatever I do, it will be taken as something negative and something critical or something like talking behind someone's back. Um, but I can't live like that. I wouldn't be able to enjoy myself. And uh, yeah, so even I love that barn actually. And I do criticize the things that I see that could be done better or differently. And it's not criticizing, it's more like constructive feedback, I would say. But what can you do? Uh, and I love Plicken so, so much. But it's just not going to be comfortable for me to be there um and i want to enjoy spending time with horses and not being like i want to be there when everybody else isn't and doing everything alone and not being able to say anything or talk to anyone because i i'm scared of what they will actually think so um i decided to quit now i don't think like i have a good relationship with pickens owner um and i don't think she, I, like there's a problem with me quitting we talked about it and she was very understanding and it might seem like I'm overreacting to all of this, but this is a trigger of mine. Stuff has happened in the past that makes this something that triggers me a lot. So yeah. So after that, I um, got really depressed and really, really down and thought because there's not a lot of barns and stuff in Oslo in the first place and majority of what's here is so so expensive it's like more than I can afford and I got really depressed because I felt like all my dreams were coming down, all I wanted it was to have my own horse, it's like the most important thing in my life is to ha get to that point and it's like my carrot that keeps me going and has kept me going for years and yeah but we found a couple of places that isn't available now but I'm on like a waiting list and there's also one other place that doesn't have a waiting list that I'm just like paying attention to so I'm gonna continue saving and I'm gonna continue trying to get my own horse um, and while I'm doing that I have a friend at a barn that's very local to me and she said that uh, if I wanted I could ride her horse uh, and she has five horses but like not all of them can be ridden only two of them can be ridden anyways uh, she pro like offered me to ride um, her fjord horse which is named Hulda so I was tried her on Monday I'm gonna put in a clip of that and um, it went fairly well I mean she's a different type of horse from picking I'm quite sore <laughs> now it's two days after I rode her um, and she's very she has a tendency to try and like bolt 
uh, but uh, I felt like it went okay. I'm gonna try her for a couple of more weeks just to see how it goes before like committing to it. Um, but yeah, she's 31 years old <laughs> and uh, she has PP, PPID, PPD, I can't remember what the, the acronym is, but uh, she's on medication, she's doing well, but she's kind of uh, lacks muscles because she hasn't been ridden properly. So I'm thinking it's just going to be like nice cozy rides, um, maybe try to work on her back and bum muscles a little bit but just taking it very very carefully because she is old and she definitely lacks a lot of muscle and I don't want her to feel tired and overwhelmed because of it but yeah we'll see how it goes um, that is probably the update that you needed um, today is the 31st of August and I'm going to the barn to say bye to Flickin and I'm also going to leave my keys and stuff like that but I'm not don't think I'm gonna film anything from it because I just want to say goodbye to Flickin by myself possibly cry I don't know <laughs> So uh, this video turned out to be something completely different, which is life, and uh, I hope you enjoyed watching the little bit that was, and uh, I'll see when I can get something else out 